All right, so coming into effect next semester, students will be charged $50 per semester uh, to have access to the Wi-Fi more. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, well, paying $50, we already pay a lot of money to come here, so $50, it's a little steep, I think. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been informed about this. Like, I, I, I don't think I have ever heard about like anything like this is going to be implemented. So, mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about those people who only use Wi-Fi for Tinder? Um, I think that it's the vast minority of people who does anyone just use it for Tinder? I mean, some people are in class to see them. They're there swiping yeah. right. They're swiping. They're swiping. Then there might be a couple of swipes True. left. You don't know. Um, they're only on Tinder, Facebook. The people on Tinder are going to be like, what, 50 bucks? You know, are you on Tinder? No. Yeah. Uh, it's good at it. Well, they are paying tuition if they're in class, so I think that that general cost should cover the usage of Wi-Fi. Starting April 1st, 2014, the Breezeway will be serving alcohol 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. How do you think this will affect students? <laughs> I think grades will go down a lot. I'm not into drinking a lot, so. That's weird for a res student, yeah. but. It's like. What about all those res are, kids who are like, Whoa, People are drinking. Oh, <laughs> well, if they're drinking, they're going to be drinking anyway, whether it's True. in their room or the breezeway, so. But. So that brings up the issue of over a thousand people have signed a petition to ban yoga pants on campus. What are your thoughts on this issue? <laughs> <laughs> well, um. I don't think that they should be necessarily. You don't mind yoga pants? <laughs> I don't. I don't mind yoga pants. No. Yoga pants are a blessing. Why would people not want to? That's that was what I'm saying. God's gift to all of us. <laughs> Trust me, they're so comfortable for girls, and let's face it, they're kind of nice to look at too. So. Mm -hmm. What's the problem with yoga pants? I am practice of yoga uh, advanced. And I'm planning, too, actually. planning on going away to get my teacher training. So I feel like yoga pants are, I know that they can be inappropriate, so maybe there should be some limitations. So like, if I was to wear them, what would you say about that? I don't know, I don't think I would say anything. A uh, plan has been proposed to remove all library books and turn them into e-books, freeing up space for a new Tinder match meeting area in the library. How do you think the students will react to this? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I personally like to have an actual physical book. Mm. Maybe I'm old school. Yeah. I personally think that they should keep some of the books and maybe just have a smaller area. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I think Tinder as in like the dating app. I think that's ludicrous. The wearing of Canada Goose Jack is set to be banned here at Mon due to alleged inhumane treatment of Canada geese. Do you think this is fair to students and why? Um, no, not really. People can wear what they want. I don't know. I have one on, so I guess I can't really say too much, but um, I don't know. I guess that's fair, but I mean, if you buy it, you want to wear it, I guess. But, I don't know. Makes sense. I don't think it's fair that the university would have control over what we'd be wearing, but if the allegations are true, then I feel like that's something that should be done through the province or the nation that, you know, these aren't allowed to be sold because of it more so than the university banning. You can't really ban what we wear. Why can you say we can wear, not wear this, but, you know, it's not the only thing. One bit leather and seal mm -hmm. If it's the only jacket you have, then you're sacrificing somebody maybe getting like hypothermia um, from the sides. Um, um, Flip flops and pajamas are set to be banned from all classrooms at Mon after the Monsu elections. This will likely cause an uproar among resident students. Do you think this is fair? Why or why not? It's kind of the same as wearing, I guess, a pair of gym shorts with sandals in the summer. I guess I don't think there's. Even in the winter when they're wearing them around every, you know, getting frostbite on their toes and stuff? <laughs> yeah, probably not. I can understand for the winter, I guess. Do you wear flip-flops? No. Class? Do you see people doing it? Yeah. Socks and flops is a thing, yeah. <laughs> is there like a club or something? I don't think so. I haven't been invited. Well, I'd like to have the option, but like the option is, is good. Especially if you live on res, like if you, if you take like three minutes yeah. to get to class. Sometimes you don't want to 
don't have time yeah. and you're studying and you want to be comfortable. Like, okay, cool. Another student, but anyway. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I will just. Uh, I will just. What are you going for? <laughs> <laughs> Application process will now give more Memorial University complete viewing access to your Facebook account. Is this fair to students' privacy? Uh, you're the guy with the YouTube account. <laughs> <laughs>